Turning to your crime watch for Thursday night, New York City Mayor Eric Adams is accused of accepting improper campaign contributions. A federal indictment charges him with two counts of wire fraud, two counts of solicitation of a contribution from a foreign national, and one count of bribery. ABC 22's Jamie DeLine has reaction from lawmakers in New York tonight. After news of the federal indictment broke, calls for New York City Mayor Eric Adams to resign have been mounting. Among some of the state lawmakers saying he should step down is Assembly Member Linda Rosenthal. Nobody's saying he's guilty or not guilty because that will be determined in the courts. However, when you're mayor of New York City, which has been called the second toughest job in America, you need to have your full focus on running the government. Rosenthal says she can't see how that will be possible while also defending against serious charges. Senator Gustavo Rivera feels similarly and spoke to the vacancies in the administration. At this moment right now, we don't have a permanent police commissioner. We have a school chancellor who is resigning. We have a health commissioner who is resigning. We have a corporate counsel who quit. We have a chief counsel who quit. We have uh, and this is just and this is just Thursday. By the time the next week rolls around, we might have a couple of more people running for the doors. While he hasn't called for Adams resignation, State Senator James Sanders Jr. says the mayor and his team must carefully consider what's best for him and the city. Sanders is urging people not to rush to judgment. The constitutional right of innocent until proven guilty, it should not be thrown away. We really We've uh, Americans have fought hard for those rights to be seen as innocent, and that that means that even when people are in uh, real difficult positions, or when we have people that we don't like, let's say, we still have to try to hold a an idea of our constitutional rights. Adams addressed New Yorkers in a press conference, saying he's not stepping down. No, listen, I'm here. I was elected by the people of the city over 700,000 strong. Amen. By the people, the city, for the this people. This is a city that is extremely uh, resilient. In Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.